G'day guys, Charlie Matthews here from Deutz Far New Zealand. Well, it's finally arrived, our highly anticipated 8280 TTV. Uh, we're really excited for this tractor, it's going to fill the slot nicely between our, our current range with our 7250 and our 9340. It's a high horsepower, um, short wheelbase tractor, uh, so nice and renewable, perfectly suited to things like triple mowers, systems drills, all that sort of equipment. Um, slot nicely into a contractor's fleet, uh, and with 287 max horsepower, she's got plenty of grunt to pull uh, large cultivators and, and things like that too. So with the all new 8280 here, uh, Deutz really started from the ground up designing and developing an entirely new tractor, although it does carry over a lot of features from our, the rest of our professional series range. Um, things like the new transmission, the new engine concept, and new brakes and a whole lot of extra features have been uh, upgraded and improved to match this all new tractor. So starting with the engine, this tractor runs a 6.1 litre Deutz AG twin turbocharged engine. For the New Zealand and Australia markets, we're bringing this in as a tier three uh, variant, so that means we don't have any um, add blue. Uh, so no diesel additive, uh, and we don't have uh, a DPF either, which means there's no, no reburns or regenerations required. Um, so nice and simple in terms of maintenance in regards to, to that side of the, the engine. It runs a nice big cooling package on this tractor in order to keep the, the twin turbos nice and cool, uh, and it's been tested at high temperatures um, and, and longer days to make sure that it can uh, cope with the New Zealand and Australian conditions uh, really nicely. In terms of servicing and access for the, for the tractor, you'll see we've got these nice new steps here, um, which means climbing up, getting into the large engine for, for checking coolants and adjusting um, fluid levels and things like that. Makes it nice and easy, so a few little things like that that I've added on it to uh, really enhance the accessibility to the engine bay. So underneath here we've got our nice and compact uh, cooling pack, um, but it folds out on a simple lever here, so when you do need to service it, you can get there, um, blow any dust or, or grass or anything that's built up in that area. Under the steps we've got our, our air coupler, so we can actually plug an air hose in there, uh, which runs off the compressor for the cab suspension and the, the pneumatic brakes uh, and that way we can actually blow the, the radiators out while we're out in the field without having to um, have a compressor um, on a ute or anything like that um, so it makes the servicing a lot easier. Uh, our air filter's at the front here so it's nice and easy to, to get to uh, for servicing we're not having to climb all over the tractor. This power core filter runs dust ejectors that blow the bulk of the dirt and dust out and below the tractor so it's not sucking it through the, the air filter which means you get a lot more life obviously out of your air filter before you're having to, having to clean it out as regularly. So down here at the front of the A280 we've got an all new heavy duty front axle from Dana. Uh, features adjustable front suspension, um, a heavy duty strength um, through the whole, the whole axle and we've also got um, external dry disc brakes down the front hubs. So these brakes actually soak up 60% of the, the braking absorption and they're a lifetime brake so they don't need replacing regularly or anything like that. Front PDO and front linkage are standard on our 8280s for New Zealand and our front PDO runs a dual speed front PDO so we can run that in either a thousand or a thousand economy. Um, we've got a bunch of extra fittings here, you can spec up to two hydraulics, you can run isobus, um, cameras, lights, all sorts of things on the front here. Uh, and we lift just under five and a half on the front linkage, um, so a nice strong front linkage here. In terms of servicing and maintenance, again Deutz Fav made it really easy on these new A280s. Um, our hydraulic reservoir is located around the right side of the tractor here, and we've got a sight glass for um, nice and easy checks uh, in the morning when you're doing your, your fluid checks. And we've got a positive terminal located on the right hand side. Uh, we've got fold out steps for if you need to access the tractor from the passenger or from the, from the right hand side of the tractor. Uh, toolbox mounted up nice and high um, and they've also done little things like um, remote greasing for the front axle uh, and a number of other little features um, to make servicing and maintaining these tractors extremely simple. Uh, so around here at the back you can see we've got plenty of metal, nice heavy uh, back end. So we've got just over 11 tonne uh, lift on the rear linkage. Uh, runs 160 litre a minute hydraulic pump, load sensing hydraulic pump on these. Uh, so with that you get all your standard fittings like power beyond and load sensing. Um, it runs a separate steering pump so there's no, no hydraulic power loss uh, when you're operating the steering or anything like that either. Um, you've got your hydraulic trailer brake fittings up there. Uh, this tractor actually runs pneumatic trailer brakes as well so for our New Zealand spec tractors we've added a few things like uh, pneumatic cab suspension, uh, pneumatic trailer brakes, um, hydraulic top plank uh, and a few other bits and pieces at the back here. Uh, we've got our 80mm um, ball hitch as well, it works on the ladder, as well as it's got 50mm uh, four steering balls either side, so when you're running um, big loader wagons or anything with those types of hitches, uh, you're all geared up, you're ready to go with this tractor here. Uh, so yeah, a pneumatic system on this, it runs an air compressor at the back of the tractor here, so that feeds our, our pneumatic trailer brakes, it feeds our pneumatic cab suspension, uh, and it also feeds our service coupling um, for um, plugging air hose in for any sort of inflating tyres or cleaning out radiators, anything like that. In terms of your transmission servicing, we've got our sight glass down the side here, so again when you're walking around the tractor in the morning to, to do your daily service checks, uh, it's nice and easy to access, just a quick check and uh, you're ready to jump in the tractor and get going. We've got our linkage ball holder up the top there, um, so we can hold our Cat 3, Cat 2 linkage balls, um, so it keeps them nice and, nice and handy, so you're not having to get them out of the toolbox every time or, or try to find them on implements and things, uh, there's a nice little storage up there for them. 
Uh, at the back with our lighting package, uh, so we've got LED lights all over the tractor here. Um, we've got our three, three lights on the roof either side there with our extremity lights at the side. So when you are working at night with triple mowers and things like that, you get a nice uh, 360 range with your, with your lights. Uh, as well as additional lights on the cab posts, uh, we run a camera at the back too um, for any extra visibility. Um, or if you're running a camera in your, in your implement, um, like in your seed bin or your baler or anything like that, you can actually plug that into the back end here and run it for your, your main tractor monitor. So. Uh, yeah, nice, well spec back end, plenty of features, and uh, again, it's nice and strong, nice and heavy, plenty of weight back here um, to ensure you can, yeah, get the maximum strength required for, for this sort of size tractor. So up here in the cab, um, the layout obviously very similar to the rest of our, our family range, so for continuity between products, um, yeah, it's nice and easy, you can jump in this and, and hook straight into it. So we feature our same colour coding that we do in our other tractors, um, with orange being the main drive, uh, green's your, your hitch, blue's your hydraulics, and yellow's your PDO. Uh, all your main controls are on your armrest here, so we've got all our hydraulics, so our 1 and 2 on our drive stick, um, 3, 4 and 5 on top there, as well as 6, 7 and 8 across the bottom here, so you can run up to 8 different hydraulics in this tractor, and they can all be controlled nice and close to hand there. In terms of forward reverse functions on your joystick, you've got two ground cruise speeds, we can set a headland management, we can either do that by recording a sequence, or we can do it all through the screen. The rest of our features are all down on the, the lower armrest here, um, so we can set two engine speeds for our, our engine control, um, hand throttle there. Uh, we've got our electronic park brake, so the park brake will engage automatically when we, um, when we bring the tractor to a stop and exit the tractor, um, or else when we put it in neutral we can push that down and that will engage the handbrake there. Under the armrest we've got our controls for our hitch, um, so for our, our rate of drop, uh, wheel slip, um, draft control, all of those controls are all located under there, as well as our front suspension control and a few other buttons there as well. To the right hand, back in the rear console here, we've got our electronic PDO speed selector, so for selecting our rear PDO. Um, it's a nice easy switch there, so there's no levers or anything for changing that. Um, nice and easy to, to adjust the speeds. And then our GPS and hitch controls are back there as well. Um, our wall panel up here for controlling our work lights. So all our work lights are nice and easy, you can see exactly what you got on and off, and you can turn them all on or off with the button essentially located in the middle there. Uh, climate air, so it runs an automatic air conditioning system with um, full climate air. Uh, it's got a nice sunroof for, on the, for, for greyer days, you can slide that open, get a bit more light into the tractor. Other features that we've added to this, this machine here, um, so it's got our, our GPS system in it, so it's running a, the all new AgriSky receiver. Um, this new receiver is getting up to, to 40 satellites um, on autonomous, so nice accurate receiver. Really impressed with how these have been performing with the, the, the early ones we've had here. Uh, as well as that we've added our, our exhaust brake down here, so it runs on a butterfly valve in the exhaust. Um, so for when you're doing heavy loads and heavy work and things on downhill, you can just use your exhaust brake there to, to engage that and bring the tractor, uh, pull the tractor up slightly. Other features inside the cab in terms of comfort, we've got our fridge located underneath the passenger seat here. Um, so it keeps your drink bottle or your, your stubbies nice and cold in there. Uh, as well as additional storage compartments at the back here, cup holders, phone holder, everything else on this tractor, uh, nice and standard. So in terms of driving the tractor, um, the Deutsch tractors are primarily designed to be driven um, on the foot pedal, um, so basically we use our joystick stick to set our maximum ground speed. Um, so we set that to 10, 20 k, depending how fast we want to go, and then we can just drive that to that speed on the foot throttle. So if our max speed's at 10 and we put our foot flat, obviously we're going to go no faster than 10 kilometres an hour. So for your general driving around the yard, um, if you're if you're going between paddocks and things like that, um, you drive it primarily in foot mode. When you're working in the field, um, typically you'll drive the tractor um, in with your cruise speeds here. So you've got two cruise speeds, so we can have a, a working speed and a headland speed, and we can just cycle between the two there. Um, so once we've engaged our cruise speed, we can adjust our speed on the go by pulling back on the joystick or pushing forward. Uh, if we want to make fine adjustments, there's a dial located on the back of the joystick here, which we can wind up or down to increase or decrease our speed. Uh, we've also got default speeds that we can jump through when we are driving in auto mode. Uh, where we just hold the trigger on the back and we can click from 5, 10, 20 and 50 kilometres. Uh, with this new um, compound transmission from SDF there's no, no noticeable range changes. So there's two ranges or two core ranges within the transmission, however they're shifted automatically so we've got basically stepless um, transmission from 0 to 50k. The tractor will decide which range it needs to be in depending on working load, engine load, all those sorts of, um, of inputs. Uh, so you don't have to bring the track to a stop or change any ranges or anything, it's all done automatically so you're always in the right range, always operating at your most efficient and getting your most power out of this tractor. In terms of operating it we can manipulate the transmission slightly depending on what we're doing, so we can set a minimum rev in auto mode by lifting the hand throttle here. Uh, so if we want to make out, if we're cultivating and we don't want our tractor to drop below um, 1200 RPM, then we can lift this throttle until it gets to 1200. 
Uh, if we get to some heavy ground or we poke it up a hill, the tractor will still rev up past that speed. However, it won't drop below that 1200 RPM. Uh, we've also got our, our power dial here, so this will set our, our, our rev range. Uh, so we can use it to set our lower rev limit when we wind it up towards power. But if we also don't want the tractor to rev above a certain rev, then we can wind that down as well, and that'll limit how high the tractor revs. So we can we can set a nice working range so that you're operating at the optimum engine speed, no matter on the when the conditions change and things. The tractor will change between those rev ranges, but it won't go outside of those when you're operating. As well as that, for in terms of sensitivity and how how um, sensitive the tractor is when we're moving it around, we've got our modulation switch on the shuttle here. So we've got five settings to basically adjust how aggressively it changes direction. Um, so from forward to reverse or from neutral to forward, um, we can adjust that so it's, it's either more aggressive or, or softer when you're changing direction. And under our arm pad here, we've also got our acceleration dial. Uh, so with that dial, we can set how quickly the tractor will uptake speed when we, uh, when we accelerate, so how quickly it'll get up to speed. And also when we take our foot off the accelerator, how quickly it will slow back down again um, so, and bring the tractor to a stop basically. Same as on all our other tractors or TDV tractors, our tractors run power zero, so when you bring the tractor to a stop, um, whether you're on a hill, whether you've got a load on the back, uh, you can remove your foot, your foot from the brake and the tractor will hold exactly where it is uh, until we re-engage the accelerator and um, obviously uh, drive the tractor on from there. So in terms of driving these tractors, we've got two core drive modes. Um, so we've got our auto mode and our PDO mode. Our key difference being in auto mode, we um, set our speed, we drive a tractor to a certain speed, and the tractor's gonna adjust the engine revs depending on, on how, how quickly we're wanting to go, what we're pulling, how much load we've got on the back, anything like that. So basically as an operator, we're setting the ground speed and the tractor's deciding the engine speed. Now we can manipulate that slightly with our hand throttle uh, or with our engine rev range. Uh, so we can set a minimum rev or a maximum rev and things like that. Uh, however, primarily the tractor's gonna decide the, the RPM in order to suit the application uh, and how much speed we're trying to achieve on the ground. Uh, when we change to PDO modes, so when we engage our, our front or rear PDO, the tractor will automatically switch to PDO mode uh, and in that instance basically it allows us to set an engine speed either with our hand throttle or with our two engine memories here. Uh, so that will hold a constant engine speed and it will keep our ground speed completely independently. So that's a, that's a core advantage of a, a, a variable tractor is that uh, you can achieve any or an infinite amount of um, ground speeds uh, and maintain a single engine speed and it'll, it'll adjust accordingly. Um, as well as that we can set our PDO droop so if we don't want a tractor to drop um, or our implement to slow below a certain PDO speed uh, then we can we can slow that down or we can set our droop to 100 rpm so the tractor is going to drop no more than 100 rpm before it will slow our ground speed to counteract that. Um, so like the rest of our, our tractors in our Pro Series range we can fit these tractors with our iMonitor 3 here. Um, so this is our main control centre for our tractor controls, um, our, our GPS controls, our ICE bus controls, it's the main control hub for our our 8280 here. So on the screen we can set things like our, our um, cruise speeds, our ground cruise speeds, our engine cruise speeds, we can adjust our hitch settings, uh, we can set our hydraulic flow rates and any timers or anything for our hydraulics. Uh, we can set up our headland sequence and we can also save profiles so if we set up hydraulic flows and, and hitch settings and everything for a specific implement we can save that profile and then we can recall that when we put that implement back on at a later date so that you're not having to go through and set everything up again. Um, in terms of our GPS um, so we run our AgriSky GPS system, um, which is based off a Topcon system. It's got a full interface there for running um, GPS uh, and auto guidance, auto steer, everything like that. Tire spec on our 8280, so we spec these for New Zealand on uh, Trelleborg tyres. Uh, we've got a 1770R42 on the rear and a 670R30 on the front. Uh, we have a range of different tyre options from the factory, uh, but this is just what we spec them for the New Zealand market. As well as that, we've got a range of different options that we can fit this to this tractor through indent or forward order. Uh, we can change lighting package, wheel equipment, hydraulic configurations, a whole bunch of different options. So uh, get in touch with your local power farming dealer to, to price up a tractor that's going to suit your requirements. So there you have it, that's our all new 8280 TTV from Deutzfar. Um, we're extremely excited about this tractor. Uh, we, we've got a lot of inquiry already and we're excited to see how, how this tractor goes. Um, if you'd like to find out more, get in touch with your local power farming dealership. Uh, or jump online to deutschtractors.co.nz uh, for all your information and brochures and everything from there.